Yo, what's up YouTube? It's JSD and I'm here with my Minecraft series. Let's go. Okay, so yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, the last time I recorded, I got so much iron. Honestly, I still haven't really collected all of it. I'm kind of still making a lot of the stuff, but Today, I feel like I got a lot of energy, to be brutally honest. I really want to just get a head start on something that, at first, I was kind of contemplating whether I should or shouldn't do. I wasn't too sure of it. Um, but as, you know, as time goes by, I guess you kind of just get, you realize you have to do some of these things. So what I'm going to do first is see if I can get, hold up, can I, there we go. So I'm going to put on my boots because... This might require a lot of falling, and if you remember my last couple videos, you'll understand. May, you might, you'll most likely understand what it is I'm on about right now. So, yes, it's night time, but I'm risking it all because what I want to do is actually, I think I should go back in the house first. Probably make, um, yeah, make a set of tools, and then I'll go out. So I'm going to make myself a shovel. Hold up, where is uh, where is that? Okay, I think I need to make sticks first. So make some sticks. Some more... St Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I ran out of wood. Did I actually run out of... I didn't put any in. Oh, there we go. Okay, I know what to do. I have a couple logs. So what I'm going to do first is just change some of those logs into planks. There we go. And... Let's keep going with that. I mean, that should be enough to make some sticks, right? Okay, yeah. So I can make a shovel now. And if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm going to be terraforming. So basically, I want to collect, I want to take a lot of the sand away from the sides of the uh, of my house where the caves are. I want to get some more sand at the front of the house and possibly near the sides. Just because I want to really, I really, really want to extend this house. Like I said last time, uh, in my actual last video, I lost my house. I didn't know where it was. And I think that's mainly just because I don't want to make a tiny house really tall. It'll look really uh, out of shape and it won't really fit the whole kind of theme of what this series is going for. I want something luxurious. I want to be able to enjoy Minecraft. I don't want to be, you know, literally just at the end of it all at the um you know kind of strands of everything i want to actually be able to enjoy everything you know get the most out of all that minecraft has to offer so yeah i'm gonna collect some of this stuff okay drop down somehow ah that's why okay let's just go collect some of this stuff here you know i wanted to i kind of thought of getting the resources off camera but again like i said uh, in my last couple of videos I do want to do everything on camera I want you guys to see the whole process I don't want it to be like oh okay uh, he found this but how do you get that where do you get it from although some of you might know where I got it from and how to get those things I don't think everyone universally knows where to get these things from I mean bearing in mind the sand is literally just outside my house but that being said I think I've got some decent amount of sand just to be able to add this extra line that you can just see here, it's really not filled out. It looks kind of shabby. So I'm going to go into my inventory. Oh, hold up, hold up. Why am I always having to fight something? Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <sighs> there we go. Okay. Oh! Last episode, I had to fight a bunch of heathens. I had to fight more today. I swear, there's no ending to these things. They just keep coming, and I just have to keep fighting them. I'm going to do this inside the house now, because I do not trust any of these beasts. I don't think I need my axe right now, just because I'm going to be using the sand to just be placed down. Okay. Okay, so let's just keep going here and I kind of give me a sec I need to somehow get back up 
can there be an entrance to the front of my house? Yes, there is. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I leave some over here? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's fine. That's good. Now that I look at it, it kind of looks like a creeper just blew up this area. Blew up this area. So... I think what I'm gonna do is again extend this area as well because I do want to expand and potentially make a farm uh, just because I think that will be you know a nice addition to oops a nice addition to how the house will look it'll give it a nicer feeling okay one there one there one there one there there we go um I'm just going to crouch. I think that's going to be an easy way of doing it. Okay, there and... It's going to be a long process, isn't it? There we go. I think this side is really hard to kind of grasp just because there's a lot of area where there's just water and it's sucking up all the sand because sand just drops all the way down to whatever level there is. Uh, another block. So, again, I think... Today is literally going to be the most difficult, I would I would say difficult because although I'm not having to fight anything, this is something that I really don't prefer doing. I think it's just because I see the benefits outside of just this one episode that I'm doing it for, although I really am tempted to go back into the cave. Uh, just because, yeah, I nearly died, uh, nearly, I mean I actually did die, but yeah, I nearly died multiple times. But I guess it's just a bit more thrilling. It's the mining part of this is much nicer. Uh, mining under, in caves is a lot nicer in general. But this series can't just be based around doing one or two things. My house does take priority just because that's where I'm living. That's my that's my earnings. That's like where I go back to. I can't just be going back to a really pitiful house. I also need a structure that I can go back to and be proud of. So this is just uh, me kind of making that happen and it's not going to take too long hopefully just because this episode is mostly going to be about getting the foundation right. I don't want to mess up the foundation and end up having to redo everything there. I think it's cool to get the foundation right first and then I can do anything else afterwards. So I want to make sure that this, although it is a huge gap like if you look down there that genuinely just disappeared i mean you can kind of see it but it just goes it falls and it's gone unless you're swimming around my house you won't really be able to see those pieces of sand but they meant a lot i keep doing this they meant a lot in terms of having to get those resources like from the side and having to place them down one by one because i'm trying to hold down the controller but it is not working so whilst I'm doing this, I guess I can kind of explain that, um, there's, wait, did I just, uh, there's been an update, so I found out, uh, on Minecraft with, uh, the Nether, so there's been a lot of stuff going on with the Nether, they've, uh, added a few more biomes, they've added apparently a mechanic with the, these things called piglins, where you can, um, I think you can trade with them now, like a villager, and you have, I don't know if it's, preset so they have uh trades that you do with them specifically or if it's you know um what was that or if it's um kind of a, a lot more randomized but i've heard that they can give you some pretty good stuff like some obsidian uh some crying obsidian that's another version of obsidian apparently i don't know whether what you can do with it and like whether you can actually make a nether portal with that and there's also going to be uh, a lot of overground portals so you're going to be just able to enter the the nether a lot easier for some reason i don't know why you'd be able to do that or what the reason behind that would be because the nether is literally just a lava pit at this point um yeah guys if you Kind of, if you're confused about this nether thing as well, kind of comment that down below because genuinely it's baffling me a little bit why they would just do a lot of stuff to the nether when there has been a need and a cry 
for a cave update way before there has been one for a nether update. I don't know whether they've just added a lot of other stuff that I just haven't been informed about or if it's just you know me being dumb and I've I've just forgotten some stuff but it doesn't really seem all that important that they should do a nether update it just seems kind of I don't know a bit lackluster just because the overworld is so beautiful like look at this look at this why would you want to go into the nether where it's just full of ghasts and all of those other disgusting creatures ghasts by the way are these huge I mean like huge big squares and I say squares but they're, they're actually living creatures and they um they just shoot fireballs at you until you die they are relentless so unless they just got rid of those which would be a bad thing as well I, I did like the challenge of having to fight a ghast with a bow and arrow with infinity and some other stuff but I mean it just wouldn't make any sense to me why they would do that why they just get ran uh, why they just get rid of a random mob so the nether all all in all doesn't seem like a huge update again if I'm missing something please put down in the comments what I'm missing about the update but that's what I've heard so far maybe a little bit of finer details but there honestly hasn't been that big of a difference from what I've heard maybe someone whoever I'm getting this from uh, one of my friends he maybe he's just skipping out on the information he's not telling me the bigger parts but he legitimately said that's all he knows we might just both be clueless but as far as I'm concerned it just looks like an update which Mojang was like okay why not let's just add this in because we want to add this in okay uh, again misplaced that okay there we go so I don't think there's gonna be much left I'm just gonna get the last bits of sand and we should be ready to expand the house in the next episode just because I think again like I said with the foundation I want to get into a bit of a planning uh, and forming this off camera rather than having the forming of it and the um, what's it called the layout kind of thought up in my head on camera I really do want to just get this I keep falling in I need to work on my footing because I'm about to fall in about multiple times so yeah like I was saying I don't want to uh, have to plan that on camera I do want to kind of look at it in a bit more detail off camera have a bit more thought and room around it because on camera it's great and all to do these things on the fly but this is my house like I've said multiple times it's probably getting sick of it but I really do want to get this like did I just open up another cave I pray nothing attacks me just that's all I ask for please let me finish my sand search without being attacked it's literally one request Mojang don't send some creeper or some zombie or, or a baby zombie that that just make it worse don't send any don't send any of those please okay so as I'm placing the last couple bits of sand I realize one thing uh, is that my house is nice and all I just felt like the type of wood I'm using on it doesn't look too appealing and when I was searching last time I found a really nice kind of darker piece of wood uh, spruce wood and I kind of had had this like idea on the fly should I actually change my uh, house from regular wood to like maybe either spruce wood or combination of both it's just a thought I had uh, maybe it maybe ends up being a bad one maybe it doesn't look nice but the cobblestone with the spruce wood and maybe just like having did my oh my gosh are you serious so I had to cut out on me there um, okay I really am I'm really not that far away from finishing this what I'm gonna do is okay this might seem a bit weird just because I haven't had to do this with all the other ones but I'm going to switch to my planks and I'm going to just put down a layer here just because I think it's taking too much sand just constantly doing it on the water it's like just letting it sink down to the bottom 
and it's wasting a lot of my resources like my sand and why I did not think of this earlier I have no idea again this is just one of those things that it just popped into my head now do I have any more planks no I do not but I can auto craft some there we go wait what did I go okay yeah I can auto I can auto craft some of the amount of mistakes there we go only a couple more and if I can get that right there we go so 19 should be enough to fill up this area I can stop crouching now um, and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video I know it was a bit of a tedious video but I genuinely just I don't think I could have done this any other day I had a I have a lot of energy today I don't know whether that was just because uh, I ate a lot of sugar I just had a lot of fizzy drink I'm, a, I'm still a kid I I genuinely could probably get a sugar rush if I had enough but I just thought this is one of those tedious jobs that had to be done at one point and today I had a lot of energy so thank you for watching I hope you like share and subscribe and also again like I said earlier leave a comment down below of if you've had to do anything like this as well where you've just had maybe a building that you didn't exactly like how it looked you felt like exploding it maybe or you just knew that you had to renovate you had to change it up and me and my friend actually had this uh, experience because I was playing with him not that long ago I think it was like yes it was a couple days ago maybe but he had like this really cool looking in my eyes it looked really nice it was a nice wall it was simple it wasn't over the top you know like not like some of these servers or stuff where it's just like you can clearly tell they've used some commands you can tell they've used some bots to make it for them but it was something you can genuinely tell he actually put the effort and time into doing but at the end of it he really did not like the look of it he was constantly trying to explode it and um, I was just forcing him not to so thank you very much for watching this video and peace